It was great. I mean, she was just this like life force, you know, an untamable, um, uncompromising life force, and she wasn't going to be made small by a society that was deeming her um, bad because she was a single mother. You know, in my eyes, she was a superhero, and um, I just adored playing her. I had so much crack. Oh, there were so many. I mean, I think doing like the kind of swear off Livy at the end, it took us a few runs before we could actually do it because when I came out for not, we neither of us ever talked about this film at home or but you know, we never spoke about anything. So anytime we got to these scenes, neither of us would know what the other was going to do. Okay. And especially in that scene, and I come out like, eh! and the two of us just lost it. And then every Every time we had to do it, it took us a good few takes before we could kind of really get in yeah. it. When you have the whole crew shaking, yeah, that's and the director at the side going like, yes, yes, got it. You know you're in with a, a good, yeah. oh, totally. It was great. It was so fun to play somebody who was just like taking space, you know, and not um, apologizing for yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. it's quite inspiring, actually. Yeah, I think we all need a bit of Rose Gooding in our lives. I think this rose had a bit more of an un, like uh, had more confidence in her freedom and her untetheredness and wasn't going to compromise it. Like uh, Rosalind Harlan was just bursting at the seams and was looking for a vessel to express herself, but I feel like Rose Gooding just like sits in it and take it or leave it, this is me, I can't change anything and I'm not going to make myself smaller for anybody. Yeah. Um, and they've both been such heroes of mine, like all, I feel that about all the women I've played, like they've all left a little mark in my heart and I'm, I've learned so much from them and grown so much for them. Um, so yeah. Yeah, there is a few times which, you know, when you get the whole crew's shoulders kind of going, you know that, that you, you know something's like right. and. When they have to like, you can't kind of, every time you come out and try and redo the scene, you'd be like, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'm gonna do it this time, I've got it. I'm fine, I'm fine. And then you come out and you look at Olivia again and the both of us go. Um, there was many, many times that. I mean, it was like ripe for being completely naughty. And so we, with all our might, tried to make each other really lose it. That was the game. <laughs> Absolutely, it's like duck, water off a duck's back with her. She's she's such a little star, and she's so human, and it's such a credit to her parents that they protected her, and um, she's just a completely natural, brilliant little actress. It's so exciting, um, and she's really fun to hang out with as well. Yeah, I mean, I felt like that reading it. I was like, oh my god, I definitely, I want, I need this. Like, I need a good laugh. And it's so great that we can have such a kind of buffet of so many different kinds of films and there's so many incredible directors and actors and writers producing stuff. But I, I haven't read a good comedy in quite a while and it's just really good to go and have a laugh and also come out of it feeling really naughty. Um, and I think that's always a good kind of, that's a good, what's the word? That's a good feeling.